Hello, my name is Tara Springett. I'm a qualified Buddhist teacher and psychotherapist. And today I would like to talk to you about my new book, which is called Enlightenment Through the Path of Kundalini. In this book, I have brought together my own experience of being in the Kundalini process for almost 30 years now and my background as being a, a Buddhist teacher and um, also my background of working with clients who suffer from the Kundalini syndrome for the last few years. Um, I thought it was time to offer people a more comprehensive you know, guide and understanding about this process because I do feel that uh, more and more people uh, may have an involuntary um, Kundalini uh, awakening now that more and more um, meditation is available to many people and um, in this video I want to tell you a little bit what I've written in the book so that you know what you're getting so first of all there's my own story so I have tried to be really honest I, I have laid it all out my all my challenges but also all my blessings I want to tell you right here from the beginning that I found that the blessings the rewards of this process have far outweighed all the challenges and I'm saying this despite the fact that um, I had loads and loads of challenges there's rarely a symptoms that my clients report that I haven't had to some extent myself so I, I know what it's like to have Kundalini problems yet I have a, a really clearly positive uh, understanding of, of the Kundalini and can and see it as something that is very, very beneficial uh, to our life as it propels us forward to the highest stage um, of consciousness, which is enlightenment. Um, I tell you a little bit what I've uh, written in the book. Um, so the first um, chapter is about enlightenment and uh, Kundalini and how that actually hangs together and what Kundalini actually is. Now, um, in order to understand that deeply, I have relied, first of all, on my Buddhist teachings that I've got for the last um, 25 years. But I've also started to make more, more inner intuitive contact with, with the Tibetan Buddhist deity, Tara, the uh, White Tara. And um, I have taken down through the process of automatic writing what she's told me about this. And so um, I really, a lot of the book um, is based on these teachings that I feel I have directly received from this higher power. And so uh, in the first chapter, I, it is really all about the deepest nature of reality and what Kundalini actually means in that context, why, why we need Kundalini to um, accelerate our spiritual growth to the highest potential that we have. Um, the, the second um, chapter is all about how we change through the Kundalini because that's what the Kundalini does. It's a huge accelerator of our development and that means that everything that is not on, its, on the highest level needs to change. So that's our relationships, our diet, our uh, worldview, our perception of ourselves, the way we relate to other people, uh, our sexuality, there, there's nothing exempt from this process uh, that um, we go through an accelerated transformation of every area of our life. And so it is good to know that this will happen, so to be open for this change, not to resist this process. And in in during that process, uh, there is a, a number of challenges that we, that we might encounter. For example, amplified emotions, heightened sensitivity, and um, sometimes weird feelings of uh, energy going through our, our body and, and stuff like that, which can be very challenging and also confusing if you don't really know what that means. So I will all explain all that in, co uh, uh, in detail that what we can expect and also help you to understand that even though it can be uncomfortable and challenging, it, the thrust of this whole development 
this whole process is actually very positive. And um, there's also many, many positive changes because once the process uh, of the Kundalini goes on and then we come to the higher stages of consciousness, we can reap unbelievably wonderful benefits from this process. That's both inner, so that we go to a very high stages of consciousness with, with lots of bliss, rapture, deep understanding, and also outer, that we are blessed with um, stronger powers than we had before. Some people would call it supernatural powers, but from the point of the Kundalini, it's just a natural progression to um, these uh, higher powers. And um, in the next chapter, um, I would like to talk about um, how to get ready for a Kundalini um, awakening and how we can prepare ourselves for that. Now this chapter is equally important for those who go through an involuntary um, awakening because everything that is meant to get us ready to, for a Kundalini awakening, if we wish to have one, is also extremely beneficial for those who had it involuntary and then in a way go back and do the preparation afterwards. And by, by doing that, all the problematic um, symptoms will get alleviated. So there's a whole chapter about that. And then um, we go into the more finer details, um, how we can work with our energy system ourselves to, to um, accommodate the Kundalini to use its potential for the highest good. And this work is, is focused very much on the different chakras. Now there is quite a lot of information out there already about chakras, but I do hope that in my book you feel uh, you will find a lot more and new and interesting information that uh, how you can use to the work with the Kundalini, to um, with the chakras to um, alleviate Kundalini syndrome. And also, if you wish to have a Kundalini awakening, how you can use that work to um, have that awakening. Now, um, the the next chapter focuses all about um, how you have to meditate and to focus if you wish to very gently and very safely awaken the Kundalini. Now, I know a lot of people are very afraid of the Kundalini and those who are going through a voluntary awakening, they want to skip that chapter and go straight to the next chapter, which is all about how to alleviate all sorts of negative uh, problems that we can experience. But for those who, um, who are interested to understand how Kundalini can uh, be awakened very safely, very gently, uh, I will outline a pathway uh, which is also taught in Tibetan Buddhism. So it is not a practice that I've invented myself, but that I've been taught myself by my Buddhist teachers. But it is a very, very, very gentle version of that. So the version that I've been taught was a lot more, a little bit more, um, I wouldn't say violent, but, um, you know, forceful. So I um, will explain to you a very gentle and safe way to awaken the Kundalini. And then in chapter six, um, I uh, go through all the knowledge that I've gained uh, in myself, by, uh, overcoming my own uh, Kundalini problems, and also through all the years that I've worked now with the Kundalini clients. Um, and I can say to you that the, 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 the path that I outline um, in that chapter, how to get over these problems, how to alleviate the, sym the symptoms, really works. Because I'm doing this every day, this is my daily work that I help people to alleviate their Kundalini um, problems and this is described in detail in chapter 6. Um, it's not difficult what is described there, it is more understanding what, what has gone wrong, how can I rectify that. This is a lot about understanding and then um, applying the remedy which is a gentle, easy uh, focus of mind or, or also gentle um, meditations. Uh, I also there's also an, uh, uh, um, a section about what you can do if you're in a real Kundalini emergency where you feel like I'm in a real crisis here and what you should do and also what you should not do what you should avoid and the very last chapter focuses on the union with the divine which is of course the, um, the whole point 
of the Kundalini. The Kundalini allows us to uh, focus uh, and to um, on the union with the with the deity, and um, and and also particularly very important to stabilize this this union. And um, that is the crowning of all uh, human development, and it's called uh, you know the enlightenment in the Buddhist context or union with God in the Christian text context. And um, and I will tell you. Uh, um, what I have channeled from my Tara to experience this state and also from my own experience um, the way I have experienced this state. Yeah, so I hope um, you uh, are enticed to uh, purchase the book and I hope you will like it. Um, there is a, um, a, a link here that you can click to get right to the um, um, page where you can buy the book. And here's also another link where you can um, subscribe to my channel and um, do click the like button if you like this video, share it with your friends, leave a comment. I would like, li really like that. Thank you for listening.